Trout at the plate. He lifts the ball high and he hits it well in the right field. Big fly for Mike Trout. The Angels strike early. It's one nothing. His tenth home run. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. Mike Trout got the Angels offense going early, becoming the first to homer 10 times this year and the first Angel to ever reach 10 homers before May. Angelton Simmons provided some pop of his own with two homers and five RBIs as the Angels beat the Astros Tuesday night 8-7. Shohei Otani struggled, giving up four runs in five and a third innings, but continued to showcase his tools, reaching triple figures on the radar gun six times, including hitting 101 miles per hour twice. Albert Pujols added an RBI single and is now seven hits away from 3,000. Now let's have a look at the rest of Tuesday's action. Get out the tape measure, long gone. His second home run of the game. This was a towering, majestic drive deep to the seats. And this one leaves the bat in Cleveland and comes down in Columbus. The Sanchino strikes again. A two-run blast into Monument Park. And that was his ninth career multi-home run game. You know, Susan, he's thought of as, quote-unquote, the Yankees' best hitter. With two swings of the bat, Votto and Jeanette have their first long balls of 2018. Gone. And that bad boy is gone! Walk it off, Scooter Jeanette! For the first time this season, the Reds are winners in back-to-back -back games. The Atlanta Braves. There's some breaking news here from Mark Bowman of MLB.com. Uh, source confirms Ronald Acuna has been informed he's being called up for the Braves. The Braves think this guy is the next Mike Trout. That is, many scouts believe that about Ronald Acuna Jr. Randerson with a deep drive out to right field. That's just turns around and watches this baby go. What a night. At 37 years of age, he can still turn one around. Home run, Salvador Perez. Great to see number 13 back in that lineup. Lorenzo Kane comes back to Kansas City and sends one over the wall in right center field. Got to feel good for Kane as he gets a standing ovation from the Royals crowd. Bruce swings and he smashes one deep to center field. It is gone! And the Mets take a 6-5 lead in the 10th. Mickey Calloway felt that Bruce was about ready to bust out. Tonight, three hits and he's given the Mets the lead. Fly ball deep to left. It's got a chance for a grand slam. It is gone! Trevor Story, a no-doubter for a grand slam. A heater crackling over the corner. The eighth strikeout of the game for Gonzalez matches his Mariners high. Making it look pretty easy today. Edwin Diaz carving through the White Sox. Williamson, high drive center field. It is out of here. And he has done it again. That ball is long gone. Alex Avila. Boy, did he crush that ball. That ball just disappeared into the night. Diamondbacks have gone back to back on a long home run by Gerard Dyson, his first as a D-back. That's off the wall. And there's Chapman around third. He's going to score on a two-base hit by Matt Olson. And the A's take a 3-1 to one lead. RBI double for Cameron Maben, and the Marlins take a 3-2 lead. Absolutely love it for the big guy. Two games were postponed due to rain on Tuesday. The Tigers and Pirates will be made up with a traditional doubleheader on Wednesday, and the Rays and Orioles will play a single admission doubleheader on May 12th. For more on these stories and all the latest from around the majors, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.